This is how our work looks like so far. The raglan bevels got a length of 13 cm. Now we're going to pause the sleeve sections. For this I'm using scrap yarn and a tapestry needle. And then I'm going to pick up all the sleeve stitches. After that, tie a simple knot. Now let's knit until the marker. We've got two stitches left. We can take off the marker and then take off all the sleeve stitches which are on the scrap yarn. Then we continue to knit and we skip the sleeve section and leave it as it is. Just ignore the sleeve stitches and knit across the round. Make sure to have a tight tension when skipping the section to avoid leathering. Do not increase, we work just the knit stitch. At the second sleeve section we're going to do the same. Pause the sleeve stitches and skip this section. Continue to knit in rounds until the torso is long enough. And this is our sweater so far. Measuring from the collar end, we've got a length of 43 centimeters. Adjust this length for your size. Now we're going to knit the border. The pattern is like our sleeves. Knit three, purl one. We continue to knit in rounds, knit three, and purl one. The first round will be purling through the front loop. The second round purling will be a little bit different. I will show you how to do that. So that's my first round. If your end of the round does not match up with the pattern, it doesn't matter at all. There is no problem if you knit two or three knit stitches in between, or maybe two purl stitches, so that's not a problem. Now let's talk about the purl stitches. The loose loop is now on the back side and it will stay on this side from now on. And for this we're going to purl through the back loop. Knit three as usual. And the purl stitch through the back loop. Continue to knit this way until the border is long enough.
these are my 15 rounds and now we're going to cast off. You can start at any point you like. I'm going to continue knitting my pattern purl one first. Then pull the previous stitch over the actual stitch. Then knit one stitch and pull the previous stitch over. Knit one and pull over. Continue this way until you've got only one stitch left. And this is how it works so far. You get a beautiful bread salvage. Now cut the yarn and use a tapestry needle. Pull the yarn through your last stitch and then sew your work and the loose ends. Mm -hmm. 